Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, I'm finna show you guys. We get right into it. The 12 best jump shots in NBA 2K23, different from the already 10 plus jump shots that I showed you in my last video. Y'all try these out and be covering all heights and all that, man. Uh, Y'all just be sure to subscribe and like since I'm showing you in the beginning of the video, man. Okay, so these, which I'm finna show you now is for um 6'5 and under. Here's a nice jump shot. I'm gonna really go over and teach you how to shoot after I show all the jump shots. So just be wary of that. The cue for this jumper, bro, it looks like when that hand is like about to come off, you wanna let that be And yeah, man, let's get into another one. Not all A pluses are created equally, by the way. Here goes uh John Stockton. We got the A plus speed, the A plus defensive immunity, and timing impact matters, guys. Um, I see a lot of people out there, their timing impacts are not too high. Um, that is the sniper. Um, in 2K23, it opens up your green window, gives you more flexibility for uh, mistiming your jump shots, okay? Um, I read it in the beginning of the game. You know, when I was covering all the articles and stuff, this is what they, they told us, bro. So, yeah, a lot of people have bad uh, timing impacts. But, yeah, you can see, like, right when it gets to the top, right before he flicked that hole. And, um, yeah, the feet probably come together. That's probably a release cue, too. Here's a real fast jump shot. And it got some height on it, man. It goes right above your head, you know? Nice little jumpy, man. These are all different options, man. I, I dropped some other uh, 6.5 and below jump shots. Okay, we got LaMelo Ball, man. A fast jump shot for uh, 6.5 uh, through 6.10 build. And um, yeah, look, we got the super high release. We got the nice release speed. And the defensive immunity, man. With big builds, you can't really have a high timing impact if y'all didn't know. Look at me educating y'all. So um, yeah, try this out and let, let me know, like try these jump shots out, come back, let uh, everyone know how you feel about it, how cash it is, etc. Here goes another custom if you didn't want to use that one. We know we got the Kobe mixed in with it. Ooh, what, did I not show the blending? Let me go back. I know sometimes when I show my jump shots, at least uh, last video, I didn't show the blending. It's just cause how weird this is. This is the other blending too. My, so my bad. Then we got the Clyde Drexley. Okay, you feel me? Fuck with it. Okay, now my I don't have a 610 build, so I'm gonna have to show you some screenshots of some other builds. Okay, you gotta be at least 610. We got Bowl Bowl. <laughs> we got the uh, Morris and the Keebler shit. You know, decent jump shot, man. You got the time and impact, all that shit. Also, probably the best one is the Kevin Durant, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant overall. We got the Eric Polishka with Tim Duncan and Nowinski. You know, see some nice jump shots, my boy. We got the Eric with the Tim uh, Duncan, you know, looking like nice jump shots. We got the Kevin Durant, Giannis, and Nowinski. Look at me helping y'all niggas. We got the Chris Bosh. You know, it's a little slower, but it might be stupid cash. You know, because y'all know the slow jump shots is uh, way easier to hit with and the green window's insane. And we got the Chris Bosch with these other releases, man. So y'all try these out. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe since I dropped the, you know, these immaculate jump shots. Y'all let me know what else y'all need help with. And yeah, if you want to learn how to actually shoot, watch the rest of this video. And look, man, I'm finna teach y'all how to shoot on NBA 2K23 and teach you all about it. I'm gonna show you the best shooting badges. So y'all are gonna want to watch this full video. Make sure you don't skip or you will miss out on something. Now, as you can see, man, I have a win percent like this every year, and I do not try for it, bro. I do not try. Um, I actually do be playing with randoms and bums and playing stage, and I, I don't, I don't care where. I don't care if my win percent is a seventy something, really, bro. But um, yeah, like this is just what naturally happens, man. But anywho, let's get into the video. I know what I'm talking about. I'm amazing every year. I play with bots beat comp players every year they always pull up on me look at my swole ass my player nigga anywho man firstly what i want to tell y'all okay setting now your shot meter bro on and off if y'all do not know 2k lab dropped some information basically saying that this year the shot meter off boost is not as big as it was in the past so they're saying, you know, you can use meter now for some reason. Um, Me personally, bro, when I use the meter, I can't shoot as good. 
I don't know what it is. In his information, bro, I'm gonna show it on the screen. He basically saying that it's not as forgiving and, and all this and that. He's saying that it's virtually the same. I don't know if I too much believe that, but I mean, this is this is what he tested, man. So, I mean, y'all could test with and without meter. Um, I feel better without meter. Now, this shot timing right here, put this hole on very late. <laughs> Bro, 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 I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Even Mike Wayne tweeted about this because he be lurking in my fucking streams and stealing sauce, nigga, about his own game that he don't know, bro. But he also said on Twitter that um apparently there's no competitive advantage. It's just your release point or whatever, blah blah. Whatever the fuck the nigga say, I'll show it. But uh I'm telling you, personal experience, man. After that first game you play, where it's hella easy to score, I scored like 130 points, right? With uh, no attributes. Then when I played the next game, bro, I started off 0-11 from shooting. I switched it to very late. Ever since then, I've been cash. I don't know why. Y'all let me know what, um, if y'all are using meter this year, y'all also let me know if you're using shot timing down below. Also, for your shot feedback, some people take this off because, like, less delay and all that. I mean, if you want it that bad, you could do something like that. I personally rock all shots. Like, if you're struggling, you might want to do something like that. Now, this stuff right here, some people believe it adds more delay to your player and stuff like that. So, they take off the under shit. They take off the release meter and the jump shot. They take it all off right me personally i'ma leave it all on but i mean if you're struggling or you want to be more cash it's something to test and play with you know the indicator the perfect release the jump shot meter whatever man they take it all off i see comp players play and they they keep it on bro so i mean and them niggas don't get off the game you know they have no life no job like staying with their parents type shit and you know like you know they gonna figure it out. They gonna uh, play by any exploit means necessary, my boy. And I don't really see a lot of them really do it. Okay, now look. Right here, bro. This drill right here, bro. You want to do this drill, okay? And you want to complete it. And basically, it's gonna make it to where you get 25% off for the Gatorade, man. I'm on current gen right now. Um, I'm, I'll be on next. But um, look. I currently don't have the 25% off, or do I? I don't know actually what I have on, but you see a discount, man. If you guys didn't know, stamina relates to your jump shooting a lot. And by the way, y'all add me if y'all wanna uh, get at it. Actually, don't add me. If you want an ad, make sure you join and become a member to the uh, YouTube channel. Let me know, show proof. Link is in description. But yeah, if y'all didn't know, the less stamina you have, the slower your jump shot is. If people close out real quick on you, your jump shot increases by like 30%, they say, your speed. So basically, they basically are forcing you guys to buy Gatorades. Very expensive. I mean, you can go without it. Um, guards need it more than most people. But if you want to be cash, Gatorade is the way. Maybe one of these holes will do. But... um. Yeah, bro, if you know you're gonna go play some comp or some other different type of shit, you know you gotta stack up on this shit. And this this is a scam, bro. It's over $120 to max out your build. Then they create the game, then y'all are in such support of this stamina shit and this adrenaline shit, which basically makes people even buy Gatorade more. You're basically scamming yourself it, just because you lack in skill. It's so sad. I'll be trying to tell y'all, but no one understands, bro. But um, it, it's not it's not like the best two Ks didn't have stamina restrictions. But hey, that's besides the point. I know that's gonna make y'all mad, but I'm just saying, think, bro. Think. They have to implement defense, my boy. It's not slowing down the offense. It's implementing the defense. 16 defense was amazing. The offense was stupid galactic speed. Okay. But anywho, um. This Gatorade shit, man, it's going to help you a lot. Let me show you another thing before we get into the badges. 
your skill boost. Yes, this will help you shoot, man. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But this is just a monopoly. This is what they do. I'm just giving you the gems, the secrets, man. This is what all the comp players are going to have on. I mean, but if you are casual, you do not have to invest in this. Do not care about your win percent if you're not getting paid off this whole. And look, that look, that nigga Zach 2K, whatever the fuck that nigga name is, that nigga had a 40 win percent, boy. That nigga juiced. Agent, win percent terrible. Them niggas have trash win percents. I'm telling you, this shit is not about win percents. If you are an up and coming content creator or you want to become one, fuck that shit, bro. But it do matter for you bot niggas. Don't think I don't know. Now look, you want your hot spots, bro. Okay, I know hot, hot zone hunter is not here, but hot spots still will help you shoot a lot. I don't know if my career transfers to the parks and all that other stuff y'all are gonna have to educate each other down below if you have any knowledge about that please let everybody know and if y'all know any other shooting tips let let everyone else know down down below also now let's get into these badges man okay agent threes is a must have on your build okay this is for next and current gen by the way uh it is a must have on your you might accidentally fade any any type of shit it's a and then they have they say they combine chef with it too must have okay this is i'm gonna go over the point guard shit man let me uh take all this shit off must have for point guard okay maybe this low tier you know i'm gonna make a whole video of the best shooting badges but th this is just a little bit of knowledge man green machine it's going to be better than the previous years because of um you only make green shots so now every build needs to have green machine on i used to always preach stop putting green machine on but now you actually want green machine but if it works the same way it does it activates after like two three jump shots not too sure yet but we will get that info soon when the modded controllers figure it out midi magician eh, and you know Volume shooter, eh, I don't really know. Guard up, uh, debatable if it works. Um, consistently. Um, corner specialist, uh, Claymore, uh, amped. You want this high, okay? This is for point guards, okay? Or people running the ball. Blinders, uh, debatable. A lot of people say it don't work. Clutch shooter, mm, low tier. Dead eye, uh, a lot of people say it might not work. Limitless range, yes. Space creator, yes. And um, yeah, bro. Now, if you are a lockdown, if you're guarding ball, stuff like that, what you are going to want to do, you're gonna want to have catch and shoot maxed, okay? Um, even a bit of agent threes, to be honest, because you might accidentally fade. Uh, comeback kid, maybe. Uh, the green machine, definitely lower tier. Uh, guard up maybe corner specialist you definitely want max claymore you definitely want a little bit of it maybe even maxed amped uh, you know maybe debatable okay the blinders uh, we'll see clutch shooter yeah you lower tier though dead eye who knows if that really works limitless range yes but it, it all depends because usually most people are corner sitters but if you can get more you want to go for a space creator eh. now with the uh spot up center builds basically um the same goes the same goes you might want to have agent threes a little higher like if you're doing pick and pop and stuff you might want to have green machine a little higher maybe right and uh maybe the guard up too uh, eh. claymore you know uh, same same goes same goes but um and then you might want to have the dead eye a little higher maybe but that's if we we don't know if it really works yet the limitless range of course you're going to want to have this like max type of stuff and yeah bro that's enough of the badge and link is in description lord baby hawk if you want some entertainment need help with your builds whatever if y'all want to be on the friends list play with me play cod with me if you want to 1v1 me y'all make sure y'all become a member of the channel uh you can hit join on the channel or there's a link down below in uh the description and you know or if you just want to support your boy because i do be putting a lot of y'all on every year man most impactful 
Anywho, y'all watch one of these uh, two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.